Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, the Driven Assimilator series. I'm your host, Carlos Fade, it's episode 5. This is our empire in the year 2256. On normal speed, I'm going to turn things up a little bit. So, we're trying to get our borders somewhat established. It's, we're in an interesting situation here. People I'd like to go to war with have a defensive pact with this other group of people. We have a defensive pact with these guys. It's not quite a federation. We're not allies. So. After detailed analysis, have discovered that strange metallic substance coating the surface of Tibi-1. In fact, comprises billions upon billions of nanites. The nanites are microscopic, self-replicating micro-machines, perhaps created by a civilization of some unknown purpose. Oh, give us another elegant insight. That's not chance. Success. So these fools, terrible relations. Last month it changed by zero. The Phaetitians, they're the ones who really don't like us. Their opinion of us. Boo. We currently have tense relations at minus 745. Technological That's acquisition funny. successful. And research has finished. Corvette hull hit points. That's good. We need as much of that as we can get. Um, there's a bonus here. Another 100 hit points for Corvette hulls, which I'd like to go after. Uh, engineering research, 20%. Kind of important, but grab the rare one when we can. So this hidden passage. Unit S4 recently found a hidden passage while excavating the ruins of 91F-M11. This unexpected discovery has accelerated process on the dig site. Oh, fun. Okay. That's cool. Breakthrough chance. 30%. Well, go, my friends. I'm thinking before Alert. we... Spaceport engaged. Sensors report a ship with seemingly identical properties to the unique remains uncovered near Starmag has just dropped from hyperspace in the Barra system. They're hailing us. Deja vu. The crew of the strange trip that mirrors the wreck found near Starmag seem excited to speak with us. Though our translators cannot decode their language, they identify themselves in a low-frequency verbal expression that sounds like Kotalo, a name we've heard before. Perhaps we can communicate them using raw data. Try to ask what their purpose here is. We receive a flurry of data in response, including cartograph cartographic imaging of a neighboring galaxy and footage of what can only be engineers working on an alien faster-than-light drive. We can draw no other conclusion than these are explorers from another galaxy. The ship's lack of weapons capacity would support this theory. We send back footage of Vortex explorers on their first journey beyond our solar system, and the reaction from the alien crew appears to be jubilant. We'll send them data recovered from the star mag wreck. The excitement of the Katala crew seems to evaporate. Multiple crew members begin to tap away at consoles using their tentacle-like appendages. They transmit what look to be their passenger manifest, navigational data, and crew logs to us. Without a doubt, the data matches that of the Star Mag wreck to the letter, with one exception. The Star Mag wreck contains further entries with later dates. It would appear the Star Mag wreck is the same ship as the one now before us, only older. Despite their alien mannerisms, the Catalos crew's consternation is evident. Our own scientific attaches inform us that if the Star Mag wreck is indeed the future of the ship before us, any information we give them may have unforeseen consequences. Uh, we can't. Hmm, what happens? Send the Catalo a warning to avoid the Star Mag Pulsar? Close the channel. Oh, we're going to send him a warning. We're going to be. The extra galactic explorers begin pouring hurriedly over the system data we send them, speaking to one another in their strained language and entering a flurry of commands on their consoles. Our diplomats wait patiently for a reply, but before it can come, the ship's engines begin to power up unexpectedly. Before it can react, they vanish. Good luck, Starfarers. I don't think their timeline's going to screw up anything we're doing, so we're going to warn them. Our big deal here is trying to build more fleet, and we have room to build it. So what I'm going to do here, technological acquisition successful, is construct a couple more corvettes and a couple more destroyers. Monthly influence plus one. Thank you. Energy siphon might be really nice. Star base capacity, naval capacity plus thirty. Fleet supremacy. What? This is new. Ship starting experience 100, ship build speed 
Diplomatic rate from Fleet Flyer 10% and ship upkeep 10%. This lasts until canceled. That's very nice. How much is it going to cost? Probably 200 to enact it. Hmm. Or I can just go straight for naval capacity. But this is... This would help me. 100 experience for each of these little Corvettes might... I don't know how much of a big deal that is. Probably not much. I like that. I definitely want it. But naval capacity right now would probably be more important. Because that's the whole thing I want to get. Anomalous surface variable detected. It's easy. You can use it. These guys are far enough successful. away. I feel like if we had to go to war with these bozos over here, they wouldn't be much of a problem. And certainly going to war with them is something I would like to do. This cold fusion reactor. Research from researchers, 20%. Grab that. Get that out of the way as early as possible. That way we get the bonus from System it. System survey complete. It's just explaining that to somebody. Complete. Somebody asking a lot of questions on my timeline on the videos about Stellaris and saying, how can I stay ahead in research? And it's like, well, stay under your admin cap. Well, then I'd have to make a lot of administration buildings. Yes, um, we, those of us who do this usually end up with a whole planet dedicated to admin capacity. So, yes, it happens. This planet is building an administration array. This planet's building that. You guys just need to keep growing is all. Keep growing. Take those jobs. Take those maintenance drone jobs. And this planet has... I can get a slot open up on this one if I could send another person there. What's, what's Vortex at 49? They're going to unlock another slot here soon. Why don't you resettle somebody to which planet was that? Nunki 2. I'm going to send a person over to Nunki 2. I'm going to send them an organic so that they can be making people on this planet if they're not already. They're currently not growing any pop, so that's good. Let's give them machine assembly for quicker robots. This one is colonizing. This one also doesn't have a pop growing on it. So this is Etrevipe. So we'll send somebody over from to Etrevipe since we have the people to do it. They'll send the Brax. Tech drone job. So now they can start growing people at the end of their this planet has no pop growth. This is Barra 3, so we'll send another one. Barra 3, we'll send them a Brax. And then Sim, are you growing anybody? Yes, you are. I think everybody else is growing pops, which is good, of our secondary species. So that's, And it, it, they're not going to be happy on Nunki. It's an Arctic world. Um, that's going to affect some of their unhappiness a lot there, isn't it? Darn. I didn't think about that. It's not a good thing to do. But I need more pops, so. I need more pops. And we're in the negative. On the money, money, money. Because we're building ships. Because we started building more of them. Yeah. Well, we can still sell more of this. And we should when we get a chance. I, I just feel like population growth is more important than them being upset right now. The tropical world, it'll work. It's not going to be so good on the Arctic world. They're not going to like that. And yes, I know my, my governor being a, not being a machine is going to be not being a machine is not going to be the greatest, but let's look at this. We got Deep Space Depot. The reasons behind this well-visited asteroid became clear as the surface expedition encountered vast storage areas and silos dug into the asteroid. The dead rocks served as a depot for some spacefaring species, often offering refueling and maintenance before sending ships even deeper into space. This would indicate an alien society devoid of faster-than-light drive, but with an abundance of motivation to explore space humans <laughs> why the asteroid depot was abandoned remains unclear but we managed to salvage a small yield of materials finders keepers oh look five hundred dollars a bunch of gas and some moats that's nice I like that and the site has been fully excavated so and it's that one 
go to it. It's right there. So that one's all done, and there are moats there now. So where is this? What are you doing? You're moving back up there to do what? To grab that site? So I want you to build a mining station there next, then. <coughs> that is... So the science ship there has done its job. It says, I can do no more. There's some gas over here, which is what I really, really want to get. So. Well, science vessel, hmm, what should we have you do? Go explore? Why don't you go explore that? Yeah, we continue to take a hit because of those ships. Anomalous surface variable detected. What is this? Adds science to Star Mag. Okay. Challenging. Leave B for now. Lils came out here and says, hey, I actually have... Okay, so we can put an energy grid down. We can also put a bioreactor down. We'd have to stop selling some food, but this converts 25 food into 20 credits and what does selling it on the market do it sells one for point six seven okay let's do some quick math then so what was that planet thing point six seven this is 25 food There's a rate of about 0.8. So if we took 25 food, we're only getting 16.75 energy credits by selling it on the market at the rate we're selling it at right now. And the market is fluctuating. So we could put down one of those things, but that's not the most important thing right now. I was just curious about that. So you're better off with the bioreactor than selling it on the market but not by much the more important thing is what do we do here stronghold eh, everybody needs a stronghold but oh and there's synthetic crystal plants here what's really going to be important off at the beginning is this energy grid it, there's a tech drone job max generator districts plus two. Oh, really it adds to really hmm I feel like I should put that down on this planet. Let's do that. I want to see how that works. 263 days. I want to see how that works. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with some of these planets yet. Like this one has a lot of slots. It would probably be the research that one. This could be a good. Uh, this could be a good research planet. Hixar Prime. This doesn't have as many districts, so probably alloys I really I don't have to worry about consumer goods so then it just becomes energy 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 transforming food into energy you're up for another job here soon so let's get a district underway for you System you have five complete. jobs yeah so these are extra ships here the destroyers and the new ships you guys are full, so I want you to join together. Living Metal Lakes. Add Living Metal Discovered on Ditchlim 3. You're down here saying, well, I've, I've kind of e explored this. What else should I do? I know. Migration Treaty Proposal. Can we do that? We can't do that because we're assimilators. We assimilate, so we can't do that with our friends. Who are now inferior to us. Technological uh, acquisition success. Technological level is superior for those guys. It's inferior here and their fleet power is inferior. Ooh. See, it wasn't going to take much. We really should go to war and start assimilating some of them. Research station output. Physics research from fish. I need all of these things. Um, let's go with the research to get our bonuses. We need those bonuses. This science vessel came all the way down here. Ooh. Found some fun stuff. Planetary settlement curator. procedure initiated. Yay, more 
Just gonna move our things up. Ninkin. All right, so they're upset. Of course, they don't have enough amenities. They got people in this world now. They're growing the population. Those people are not gonna be happy. But we will get the tech and we will terraform them all to worlds that you will love. We'll all love it. Anomalous surface variable detected. Yeah, I need some. I need a good governor over here, but I need a good robot one. But I don't have a good robot one. Was clear blockers? I don't care about clearing blockers. That's a it's a wasted skill set there. Which one is this? Is which one has the Batharian power plant? I need to just. I need to figure that one out. Barra, Sim, is this it? Batharian fields. So this I was going to do research with because I said I put an R in front of it. I'm also going to put a B in front of it. Grimacing. The very geological structure of Terabellum 2 is indeed in flux. Driven by what science officer U7. U7 has been great. He's come up with all kinds of things. I'm sure this is a tectonic process as fascinating as it... Uh, so let's see. Study the natural process or spend the energy credits to attempt to stabilize the planet in a more favorable state with roughly 50% chance of success. Well, we're going to do that. It always fails for me. I'm, I don't think I've ever had that be successful before. The terraforming failed, of course. So, yeah. Boo. <laughs> it just never works. I don't know. They call that a coin flip, but when it fails on you every single time, you kind of start to not believe that it's a coin flip. You kind of start to believe that it's just boo. Yeah, the Batharian fields, as soon as we can get that here, it'd be great. Um, oh, so, so let's roll through here and look and see if there are any more. There are, but there are no. And that's terraforming. I mean, colonizing, it's not terraforming. Can't get rid of those. Can get rid of those. You can do it while it's colonizing, so you might as well. Which is kind of a cool thing. System survey complete. We are planetary surface settlement established. Excellent. Go there. All right. What are you going to be? You have a lot of people too. For now, let's make you an agro world. You have a lot of food, and we can take that food and turn it into something useful. You got the you got the giant Game of Thrones ice wall right there, and there's no sector for you. So let's create a new sector, assign you a leader. I guess we'll grab the clear blocker dudes. Jeez, that's all that we all that we have. We're hemorrhaging money. Because of our fleets. If we went to war. Special project. Cybrex artifact recovered very nicely. If we went to war, what would happen? With these guys. What does this say? We have favors to collect from them. Anomalous okay. surface variable detected. It's routine. Okay. I'm getting interrupted by all kinds of things. We have noticed your planet, Liji 3, possesses a unique potential not currently being realized. A vent can be opened to its sacred core from whence the flow of wealth can trickle forth. Let us reveal to you the hidden secrets of your land. We will require a nominal remuneration, of course, as always. For 200 minerals, the following results, max generator districts and max districts. Well, yeah, deal. That's awesome. That's kind of cool. You can research that. If we declare war, what kind of war? Assimilation, sublimation. And then we would have to invite attackers. And they will not join your war against them because their forces are not sufficiently built up. Well, boo. I don't want to go to war against both of those guys yet. I want to be stronger. This is pop assembly speed is increased by 10%, please. Thank you. I'll take that. Okay, in the meantime, we're going to have to sell off some more of this. Probably that much. Let's see. I don't like selling all of that. So I want to get some focus on energy here. Not having trade is a little... Is a little handicappy. Engineering research. I really want to get over... Oh, I can't right there, though. Because what is that? Oh, mining core. 245. That's it? Oh, well, dude. System survey complete. Fleet. System survey Small complete. fleet. Come this way, 554. I got a job for you. 
I'm going to give you a leader. What is it? Evasion and sublight speed. Yes. Perfect. That's exactly what you need. Go to that. And get down here. And get down on it. Okay. We clearly need energy. Um, a bioreactor to turn some of our food acquisition successful. into energy would be good. We also... Just using generator districts would be good. Anomalous surface variable. Science offer will serve be reassigned for... We offer you a suitcase of unmarked energy credits for the low, low cost of one science ship. I'm running, I'm running high on science ships, so why don't we just do that? Yeah. Get rid of one of them. What do I want to do here? More research is always be good. Um, I wonder how these are going to work. Let's put a bioreactor down and find out. Survey speed, 33%. That would have been useful a long time ago. Research station output, 10%. Take that. Okay, so what is this science? System doing? survey complete. It's doing nothing. Survey the rest of this, my friend. Pirate's treasure. Energy credits gain 500. Nice. Scientist Sergei Grishin has developed new skills. You're over here System survey finding the L gates. You're over here finding the back door to these folks here. Back door. Yeah, these planets here look really nice with mining core. So what are they? They just have the mining beams and army out there lightweights and then over here we got some more serious looking threats and over here we have a lot more serious looking threats and then over here we have 200 we should send these guys to do that as well so we can take this dragon tail off there's only 245 strength over there there's a space amoeba space amoeba what do we have for drone steady available and crystalline steady available how much for this 14 months research that Let's see if it affects the space movement. Let's see if we can make them non-hostile. That would be kind of cool. Oh, you made it all the way up there. My precious. Yeah, they always take off with some of your money. They're thieves. They're punks. This is Lambda alien vessels up here. What are they? Oh, there is a bunch of them. Scanners can make no sense. Of them. They're a little more powerful than... Construction complete. 5.6K. Yeah, so we won't be messing with those guys all right so we don't need to sell as much of this because that thing just got built and turned into so there's a power plant bioreactor there it's going to turn some of our food into energy you guys also need another job coming up you got one anomalous surface very gold you can research that because it's easy construction complete Construction. I'm not worried about these guys so much because they're so far away. System I think I could call off a war with these guys anytime I wanted to. I'm curious. I haven't played Driven Assimilators in a long time, maybe ever. I'm curious about... System survey complete. About what it's like to just end a war halfway through if I don't assimilate them all the way. Construction <clears throat> complete. What is coming up? Senate floor is form the galactic market. Oh yes, we'll definitely join that, please. Hixar Prime says, I have people not working. Well, we're going to fix that for you. There's a mining district. Dangerous wildlife. Okay. Situation the Birth of the galactic market. We can promote one of our worlds. Let's do that. That'll take some influence. How much? Galactic market hub nomination. 150. Let's do that. 
look at the rest of our worlds here and see how close we are to people needing jobs. Two there. Two there. Three there. So they have jobs, so that's good. And this planet has the massive glaciers, okay. I don't like to leave Pops unemployed, I like to plan ahead. This planet is, this is amazing. And then this is... System survey complete. Oh, when we try to get to the point where we need jobs, we'll grab those guys. System survey complete. Why don't you go get this? Special project complete. There are crystals there. So what do we have? The crystalline entities name themselves. Compromise between rival factions of xenobiologists and xenogeologists on Vortex Prime are probably alive. So we can add energy credits from jobs for 5% or crystal infused plating. <coughs> energy credits from jobs. Crystal focus modifier giving the following effects. I like that. I think that's kind of important. We should probably use that. That adds to... Yep. And that's a permanent thing, isn't it? It's a permanent modifier. I like that. Curator Insight Research Boot plus 10. Monthly Engineering Research. Bunker Bot. <clears throat> that's... Yeah, we need that energy. <laughs> so... System survey I think complete. that's... Especially for Monitor this particular... Established. Species that I'm playing, I think. That's extra important. Governor unit D6 seems to be approaching the acquisition successful. It's abilities. Which one is D6? It's P4. He's a leader complete. experience gain. He's tanking. P9. D6, who I just bought. Sired you. Oh, there's pop growth speed. Yeah, please. Oh, I saw terraforming, but... Pop growth speed first. Let's take that. I'm gonna move these guys here to do this, but I'm not sure that they'll be necessary. I got don't have enough influence right now. Successful. All right, Corvette hull hit points. Exotic gas refineries. Seems like that would be really important right now. And machine learning campaign edict has come on. Well, let's just turn that right back on, shall we? Since it only costs money. We have a bunch of this stuff. Research speed lasts 12 years. Nana actress. How much? How much? Uh, oh, cost. Empire's problem was 66. Anomalous surface variable detected. Yeah, research speed plus ten for six. How much? How much of that stuff do we have? Or was I not reading this right? Nope. It says we can use it. We have a hundred. It costs a hundred thirty-three basis fifty. Why does it say this? Empire sprawl plus one hundred sixty-seven percent is why it costs that much. Terraforming cannon discovered. System survey complete. Base is 50. I'm not sure I understand this. Empire Sprawl plus 168. What's going on there? Because I also don't see any of those nanite actuators in my thing yet. I'm a little not understanding that. Base, Empire Sprawl plus. Is this broken? Because look at my Empire Sprawl. It says 168. It says 168%, 169%. So, these things cost based on what your Empire Sprawl is. Not based on a penalty because you're over it. Okay, I got you. And this one is just what? Empire Sprawl. But this one, apparently the math isn't done right now. Oh, it's 25 plus 169% because of that. Okay, I see. I got you now. I got you. So, it's just based on flat Empire Sprawl. Not any kind of penalty or anything. Hmm. Fortify the border. Well, that is interesting. Anomalous surface variable detected. Routine. Why don't you do that? So we'll have to make sure to use all this stuff. 
clear blocker cost, vault to ammunition, we'll want to use all these things when we start a war, but this, I'm, how many nanite actuators do we actually have? Research speed, 12 years, I'm going to do this right now, I don't know how many we have, but anything to boost research would be a good thing. You guys are just about ready to do this, aren't you? How close are you? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we want you to go here. Successful. People are always telling me, I want to see more of the wars. I want you to show them. So we will. Energy credits from technicians, research from researchers, all things that I would very much like to have. Um, let's grab that energy credits from technicians. Let's see what happens here. What is this? The Senate is now in session. Pan Galactic Recycling Initiative. Diplomatic weight from economy. Pop consumer goods upkeep and clear blocker time plus 10%. No, we, we are very much opposed to that. Okay, let's go. Where's our fleet? Here it is. The final rest. By what has to be beyond astronomical odds, the ISS anomaly actually managed to pinpoint the source of the odd signals as it soared past through the asteroid belt. A tiny alien construct. A simple scan reveals that it has some sort of ritualistic container holding the remains of an alien space fire. Let the coffin continue. Yeah, we need to we need to do that. Otherwise, I think yeah, there are bad ramifications from doing that. Gentlemen, how are you doing? We got these little turkeys over here. Are you going to see them at any point in time? Construction yeah. complete. Got a couple of planets Hostile already. Hostile fleet assets engaged. And it's chaos. There's people flying around in circles. Destroyer. My destroyers hanging. Those two guys are hanging tough there. That's interesting. Oh, those are their point defenses. What making the machine gun sound? That's a, that's kind of cool. That's gonna take a while, isn't it? So if we do this. This doesn't give you epilepsy. It gives me epilepsy. This is. We're still at six of four. That's nice. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. I want to see my fleet. How are we doing? So you can take a look at this. This guy here, this destroyer, is getting getting hit hard. He's almost lost all his armor. You guys need to win so we don't lose him. Please. There we go. Okay. You guys really need to be repaired, don't you? But we don't have uh, anywhere. I'd love for you to be repaired before we go take these guys on. Uh, what's the nearest star base where you can go repair? Right there? Oh, perfect. Good. Go do that. Because what is this? This is... We were going to use it as a choke point border against these guys. But it's not even really necessary. So that's cool. That's handled. You should go over here and do this. Move there. System we go. survey complete. Oh, and there's a time the mission. Yeah, debris. Track. Do I have a free science ship? Who's doing what here? Who's the closest one? You. What are you doing? Surveying. Tell you what, I want you to go over here and I want you to research that project. I'm going to get us a mining laser, probably. You need to just chill for now. Extreme storms. Oh, and here's our colony. Okay. What are we doing with you? Mining. Let's get you a job there, buddy. In a district.
we'll get that fleet repaired before we do anything else. System survey complete. T fleet power is inferior. That's the way we like it. We need to really build three really good fleets and we could probably go after these guys and then not have to worry about their allies so much. We want I think we want to do it before they get wormhole travel. So I think that's going to be one of the important things to do. And there's something over here. What is this? Amoeba swarm. Oh, you are the perfect choke point against these guys in that direction. Excellent. Stay there. Um, yeah, we want to go to war with these guys before. Curator research aid. Yes, please extend the contract for 3,000. That's how we stay ahead. Vortex Prime has another slot available. Uh, the energy grid giving the bonuses to all of these tech jo drone jobs over here would be huge. So let's get that down. Relic activation now available. Blade of the Hunter. Sublight speed plus 25%. Yes, we'll be using that when we go to war with them. That will be a big deal. Don't just say okay. It's kind of a big deal. The other thing is we yeah. Got a couple more worlds here. What's this world? This is a tundra world. And this is a desert world. I'd really like to get some terraforming going on. Hixar Prime just finally expanded. This is going to add Let's do an energy grid there so we can do some more tech drone jobs here for those people. And we'll start getting ourselves a lot of money and then we can afford to make bigger fleets. Bigger and badder. Alright. What are you missing here? Hostile fleets are present in the system? No, they're not. What? What's still present in the system? This thing. Oh, mining station. It's hostile. Okay, well, when my guys are repaired, which will be soon, we'll send them back. So we'll just keep accumulating influence in the meantime. I'm not worried about going and getting that, even though it's 12 minerals. I'll just leave him sitting there. Tundra World, Alpine World. And this thing is, what, 338? I wonder if he could kill these down here. There's 245 of them. You know, he's he's no good because you can't add him to a fleet of any kind. So why don't you just go do that? Why don't you just go do that, buddy? Put you to work doing something. Okay, the fleet has been fully repaired. Perfect. You guys come over here and go blow up this. And then I can get to work. Fleet stance, evasive. No, I want to send you to passive because I want you to go in there and do that thing. Oh, and here we go. This place needs jobs and... Yay. What should we do with this? Research? Oh, look. There's so much energy here. And mining. Hmm. Let's give you an energy grid as well. And then do this. And then do this. And we're going to do both here, energy and mining, and use up most of our districts that way. You're also going to need more housing soon, so let's just build it right there. This one we're waiting for because we can put the Batharian power plant down on it. We'll also do the same thing here. There's only four mining districts, so we'll grab the energy ones as well from it. This science ship is... Trucking along. Actually, do it in this order. Survey that first, then survey this. Don't do it in a dumb order. Do it in a smart order. That would be the good thing to do. Debris. 98. We have analyzed the debris and we get 
yeah, ten percent progress on ion thrusters, physics research. Nice. A little bit of thing, yeah, and that finished off some tech. That's cool. Complete. Unlocks exotic gas refiners. Thank you. Planetary build speed. Empire sprawl from districts. Oh, that seems very nice for that specialness there. We're gonna grab it. I am definitely gonna grab that. Uh, Bera is now ready for stuff. You have food and our empire sprawl is creeping up. Everybody should be. Do I just want to make this one a straight up? All the coordinator jobs. I might want to do that. I'm going to do that. And so um, I'm going to denote it with an A for administration. Could have done it with a B for bureaucracy, but I've already used the B for Betharian power plant up here. And you, Sim. Yep, and so here we can put your Betharian power plant down because you get one of them. Right there, Betharian power plant, tech drone jobs for. That will put some of your people to work. We should probably also build you another district as well. You need more jobs. Great, because guess what? We have jobs for you. You get a ton of... And you get another district because your housing situation. Look at that. We're finally getting unemployed pops. It's like a miracle. They're growing. They're growing! It's a Christmas miracle. I want you to move back to Sim. Where is Sim? Up here. This is going to be a research planet, so I want you to go up here and just start start assisting research on that planet. What do we have? Yes, we get the galactic market. Yay for System us. Survey complete. Following a long period of growing support for the Alien Friendship Council, the warrior clans have finally embraced the faction adopting the core values. They are now more xenophilic. Okay, well, good for them. Drone study is available. I don't want to do that right now. Probe the dimensional portal, though. Let's do that. Executing invasion protocols. Oh, where at? Where at? Right here. Oh, he moved. He moved around, and there's what is this? Shardlings. How how big are you? You're not big enough to take on the shardlings. Um, gentlemen, yeah, you're going in there to take care of that. You're going to have to come back here and take care of these shardlings. You're done there. Okay, I'm not... Eh, go ahead and... Oh, there's no route for the selected loot because of the amoeba swarm there. How did our other guys get by there? Oh, that's funny. Well, you should probably move closer to back home then as well. Um, so let's do some research. Naval logistics office and battle simulators. Fleet command limit of 20 and fleet supremacy. Effects last until canceled ship starting experience. Yeah, that, I was looking at that earlier. I think that's a really good thing to have. Regenerative hull tissue. Ooh, it's only 5,000 away. Tomb world habitability. Not... And these texts stay here until you research them. Energy siphon. What is this? It's small. It's a 100% shield punch. Basically, it does a lot of damage to shields. It's a nice thing to have. I feel like this would be better, though. Fleet command limit and fleet supremacy. Do that. I really want to go start assimilating these guys. I'm sure they have a bunch of planets over here. But hostile I'd, stationary I'd like to. asset engaged. All right, go down there and take that out. Two destroyers. Ping, 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 ping. Corvettes flying around it. Excellent, good job, Jim. And it's poof, it's gone. Great. You guys get a little bit of. Go over here do that um, did I just start sending you away yeah I tell you what there's more debris here
because there is a track on there. Go to. Oh, it's right there. Oh, well, that's where I want you to go then. Go up here and do this. Extra projects and system. Space amoeba. You can return to the nearest place. You are finally available to do this. Build Starbase there. and then We need the gases. Are we researching the gases? No. We need to be. We need those gases. 171 credits. Ooh, we're doing good now. Dang. We just have to keep focused on that. All through the game we're going to have to be focused Special on project complete. that stuff. A dimension of suffering. The dimensional portal seems to lead to a realm which is opposed to the sapient mind on a fundamental level. Whoa. We're robots, so we should be okay. Any and all contact with material from this dimension causes intense suffering in subjects, which, if continued for more than a few minutes, leads to intense suicidal urges coupled with attempts to mutilate their sensory organs. Even simply studying data recorded in this strange dimension causes intense discomfort in the biological observer and cascading errors in computer systems. Oh, so it does affect computers. Find a way to close the portal. Study the portal. Well, study it. I don't remember what the benefits of that chain is, so. This is, I, I, I'm kind of liking playing on this small amount. Look at these guys, complete. they've spread all the way up here. I wonder if there's a fallen empire over here or some. If not, these guys are making a lot, of, a lot of ground. Work. The Senate has voted on and failed the Pan Galactic Recycling Initiative. Good, because that's. Now, what's next? The Cooperative Research Channels is what? Diplomatic weight from tech, research station output, and starbase upkeep. Yes, we will support that one. The Tiyanki Conservation Act. Any empire that kills a Tiyanki will be considered a breach of galactic law. We will oppose that. The ban organic slaves. Sure, we'll support that because we're going to assimilate all of you anyways. <laughs> and then the greater good resolutions. Five-year plans. Weak support. Empires likely to support this solution. What do five year plans do? Diplomatic weight from pops, worker happiness, worker political power. Because you have to do that to get to greater than ourselves. So it's weak support. We can't do anything about it right now, apparently. No act of ecological protection. Unchained knowledge. What's in here? Cooperative research channels and then astral studies. Uh, weak support. Hmm. Who's got the most power right now? The warrior clans do. We're in third place. Uh, yeah, we need to be moving. We need to be... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start building more fleets. Um, actually, no. Let's switch this up. Um, ah, I would really like to be able to see what their fleets are like. But since I don't know, I'm going to adjust this class. I'm not worried about the picket stuff. Um, oh, I still don't have that gun, do I? Okay. Coil guns along the front. Those along the back. And the reason for that is these are going to do mostly damage to shields and those will do mostly damage to armor. This is going to be uh, the DS, like, for standard. So, the D standard. It's just a standard ship. But I want to start making some of those. And then we can upgrade them if we get that tech. But I gotta start cranking out ships because. I gotta start cranking them out while I have alloys. Because we need to go after these bozos up here. We're going to go take care of this little mess down here, but then we're going to go after the bozos. You guys are doing what? Solution. You're going after those guys. That's great. Um, I had sent him down here to help you, but I don't think he's going to be necessary. So I'd rather move him back here again. So move all the way up here. 
You guys are engaged. Great. Take him out. Oh, it's just a flurry of lights. Look at these guys spinning around. The destroyers. How are my fleets doing? This guy, this Corvette right here is about to get hurt, but you guys did good. Okay, good job. Um, go back and get healed up. Science ship, what are you doing? You're moving all the way back? No, you're not. You're going over here. Research projects in that system. system survey complete. And then you're going to survey that. And you're researching debris in Penosta. That's awesome. Liges. What do we want to do with you? Alloys. You're going to be an alloy planet, aren't you? Are you? Yeah, let's make you some alloys. Actually, I said admin earlier for that other one. But you're going to be alloys and we are going to use the B for bureaucracy. System survey. Because we now have the Batharian power plant Ship down, so we don't need this designator up here anymore. We've built the Batharian power plant like we wanted to, so it's right there. So that's good. Science ship, you're way over here, and you're like, hey, what do you got there? Technological acquisition successful. Science. Energy credits from technicians. That's wonderful. Archaeological skill plus two. Wow, that's kind of cool. Energy nexus. This is gives us an even bigger boost to our tech drone jobs. That's awesome. Chemical plants, though, we probably really need that. So let's grab that. Hyperlane register. Hyperdrive two. Okay, so I moved you up there. You're done. You've researched that. That's fantastic. What do we have here? Lurkers. Ancient mining drones. I think what I'd like you to do. Redamon. Go over to Redamon and uh, it's currently an agri world, but we will take this and make this a research planet as well. Redamon. Okay. It's the ice wall planet. It's the Game of Thrones planet. It's an alpine world. And it's got a giant ice wall. That makes sense. Winter is coming. Winter is already here. Good job. We need to get the gas. So you can start harvesting that there. Some nice planets down here. Ship fragments dissected. What do we have for planets here? Alpine and Arctic. Okay. Well, we should probably get started on some of these. Starbase influence cost, Starbase upkeep, Empire sprawl from systems and colonies is reduced by 25%. I'd really like to have that. What's down here? Fleet command limit, ship build cost reduced by 10% and ship build speed increased. That might be important. Soon. Pops working research have their upkeep reduced by 20%. That'll be nice trying to figure out what I want. I want this Empire Sprawl system, so in order to get it, I'm going to have to go through here. Starbase influence cost reduced by 10%. That's fine. Because where do these wormholes go? How soon before those guys can start causing trouble through wormholes? And what is this planet? A tundra world. Desert world. I should probably start colonizing these worlds. So I'll send the robots to colonize them. Voon. We'll do that. We'll start colonizing a couple more of these. Oh, because we're out of alloys. That's the thing. It's a little costly to do that. So. Nano sand. Nice. That gets us four more minerals on Yoman. And oh, some more of that stuff gained. Anomalous row or whatever it is. Nanite. Oh, nanites. Yeah. So that's nice. 
fortify the border capacity subsidies not necessary right now just a second precursor discovery we should investigate this yes new archaeological special projects is available in Athos Vila okay let's find that where is that at right where is that terraforming canyon to discover what is this right there Signs of Cybex activity. Well, give me a science ship, darn it. Who's Systems not doing anything? Complete. Is this a... Uh, signs of Cybex activity. Could track, go to on the map. Okay. So I gotta get a science ship over there. Um, Tell you what. I was sending you up here to help research on a planet that doesn't have any research yet. You'd be better off going there, so go do that. You guys are being built. That's great. Let's do some... Systems are command limit is going to allow a lot of stuff here. Construction complete. Senate is now in session. We're supporting cooperative research channels. Yeah. Take that. Oh, and Noonkey. This is a very small planet with not a lot of housing. Um, which means you want to stretch these pops kind of as far as you can. Um, energy grid would be good. It's going to be predominantly energy planet here. Systems Let's do this. Let's get them built out ahead of time. Oh, and Liji's. <clears throat> we haven't decided what we're doing with this planet yet. Probably alloys. Because we're gonna need them. So let's let's label this one. Since we know what we're gonna do with it now. Fleet command limit. That's not as big of a deal as gene modification. I need this. I need this really bad. Because I need to be able to modify some of my people for the environments they're on, and then I won't have to terraform anything. That'd be kinda cool. Why don't you grab this node right here? Alright, she did that. Good. Now you can come up here and get this dragon's tail of systems. Yay! I like that. It's looking good. We just have to get in a position where we can start assimilating these fools up here. Especially before they get too much too strong. Um, they're inferior all the way across now, it says, which is great. These guys are equivalent. Their tech level is superior. Their fleet power is equivalent. And they're buddies. But they they have a defensive pact. They don't have a formal federation right now. Although going to war with them would cause them to, to back each other up. So what I need to do is be very, very strong in my fleets. Um, what I should probably be doing is adding some monthly trade to buy these even though it's just a little bit, let's do that. Let's find out how much that affects us at the end of the month. Technological that didn't drop our, successful. our amount very much, which is good. So let's do that. Ten. Every little bit helps. Experimental subspace navigation. Researchers. Shields. Mining drone laser. Um, researchers. Where are you at, SB? You're right there. Okay, because what I want you to do is go take their systems from them there. You folks are heading back home, which is going to be good. I should also... Do I want to just have you join with that other fleet? Probably. Because they don't have a, a leader. We'll have you join with these guys. You guys up here can add... Standard destroyers. Construction complete. Construction. Asteroid fauna. Some planets over here. Desert and a tropical world. Ooh. How nice. How nice. Ice. End of the month. What's our money going to look like now? 
Anomalous surface variable detected. We're still at 184. That means we should Special be able to project complete. acquire a few more. Contact the nearest science ship. Ends the Cybrex event chain. Begins the Cybrex home system event chain. Yay! Let's see how much we can buy. Where is the Cybrex home system? Cybrex Alpha track on map. It's right there. Okay, dude, that's your your job. Go here, survey. Survey says, and there's a Cybrex megastructure. There's gonna be another ring world, which would be fantastic. We just need the alloys. And there's this clock. Keep an eye on the clock. That's gonna be a nanite ticky talky thing. I want to switch this over to all research as soon as System possible. That means other planets have to pick up the slack with the alloys, so. System survey complete. Hixar Prime. We should probably make you an alloy planet. So let's just say that right now. So we can... You are continuing to just find all kinds of interesting things, aren't you? I'm probably going to lose this ship because... It's so far away from home. It's going to run into something that's going to destroy it at some point in time. <clears throat> Gentlemen, where are you? What are you doing? You're almost there. Good. The Cybrex Central Nexus. It would seem that the Cybrex reevaluated their galactic crusade against organic life at some point during its 17th year. Whether this change was prompted by losses on the battlefield or an ideological shift in their networked consensus, we may never know. But for whatever reason, the Cybrics decided to halt their campaign. They began a slow withdrawal that lasted for nearly a century until they eventually vanished completely. We now know that they retreated to this system, where they had constructed a massive ring world designed to house their entire civilization. They isolated themselves here for several millennia until all independent explorer chanced upon their system and spread its location to the rest of the galaxy. The news that the dreaded Cybrex had been found again prompted several neighboring powers to organize a massive military expedition which bombarded the Cybrex ring world to rubble. Strangely, the Cybrex seemed to have offered no resistance whatsoever. Wow. Relic found. Cybrex Warforge. Yeah, baby. All right. And we get this. Empire Sprawl. Cha-ching. Thank you. That'll reduce some of that. That's awesome. So the Cybrex Ring World. Oh yeah, baby. Ruined Ring section. This section. All right. So. System survey complete. You have no orders. What are you doing? Okay. How do I? The Cybrex. Wait a minute. Do I have to do a special project for that? How do I get this ring world? Oh, I have to claim the system. Durr. Okay, well, in that case, why don't you go back over here to Redamon and assist with Anomalous research. surface variable detected. Trivial, so you may research that. Hixar Prime says, I need people to do jobs. I don't have enough. And I'm about to run out of housing, too. That's fine. <clears throat> yeah, so where is our other constructor ship? Down there. Why don't you... Run up here to Cybrex and build that. Construction complete. Well, this has been entertaining, hasn't it? Okay, I'm going to end the episode here. Jeez. Quite a bit has happened. Our empire is rolling along. Getting to a point where we can steamroll people pretty soon. This is going to be fun. So, thanks for watching. As always, everybody, if you have a question or comment, drop it down below. If you like the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you dig the channel, subscribe. And if you want to support my channel, my Patreon is listed in the description below. I will thank you all and see you next time.